is Anne here. So aside from commemorating our nation's Independence Day, we are going to celebrate it with a DIY. I'm going to show you how you can repurpose some tin cans that you may already have in your kitchen. So that way you can decorate them in your backyard while celebrating with friends and family for this Independence Day. So I hope you guys are going to enjoy this. Let's get started. For this tutorial, you will need a clean tin can that you don't mind repurposing. Craft paint and a brush. I like to use craft paint since it dries very quickly. A drill, and you can use any drill size bit you would like to use. I am using 1 8 of an inch. For your design, you will need some masking tape and a marker. I recommend to clean the tin can first with some rubbing alcohol before starting off. Now with your marker, draw out where you would like to lay out your design. Now remember, this doesn't have to be a perfect design as long as you draw out a good guideline and give yourself an idea of where you will drill your holes. In this part, I'm using a nail and hammer to make some divot holes on where I will be drilling next. This will make the drilling process a lot easier than just going straight for it. Next step is to drill in the holes. Make sure you have a sturdy grip on your tin can. Look for where your divot hole is and drill down. So after you finish drilling in your holes, go ahead and clean out the can before painting. Here I'm using some acrylic craft paint and I recommend for you to use some primer before painting on the main layer of paint. But in my case, I was in the process of moving and I had no idea where all my things were. So I went ahead and painted over this tin can with some craft acrylic paint and it turned out pretty well. I decided that I want to give this some sparkle, so I went ahead and sprinkled on some glitter. And I focused mostly on the bottom to give it that gradient effect. For a patriotic design, I decided that I'm going to paint this can red, white, and blue. To create the red, white, and blue stripes on this tin can, what I did was paint around the tin can white. And after the white paint dries, I took out some masking tape and I taped it close to the bottom of the tin can over the white area. Then I painted the blue over. I did the same thing up top by masking the tape around the white area and then I painted the red above. So this way after the paint is on, I can peel off the tape and the white area will be nice and clean looking. Another really pretty and festive way to decorate these cans is to paint the inside with some metallic paint and then sprinkle the glitter inside. This way when you're burning your tea light candle, it will illuminate on the inside and the outside of your can. Alright everyone, that is it for today. I hope you enjoy these types of DIYs where I show you how you can repurpose old things into new. And I hope you have a wonderful weekend. Happy Independence Day and I will talk to you next Friday. Bye!